I, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, kind of where, uh, where, where we're going. Uh, uh, kind of as, as an organization. So yesterday we heard, uh, you know, all this really kind of forward-looking stuff in terms of where the region is going uh, from, uh, from, from our mayor, uh, where our key industries are going. Uh, we spent a lot of time talking about, you know, the Internet of Things, and we talked a lot about uh, the future of the automotive industry, and we have all these really interesting things happening. And a lot of these industries, like the, you know, like our automotive industry, like our defense industry, like our technology industries, like the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan itself, we're all trying to figure out what we want to be when we grow up. And actually, we at the Detroit Regional Chamber have been kind of doing that same thing as well, too. What do we want to be when we grow up? So for 36 years, uh, the Detroit Regional Chamber has been the proud steward of, of this conference. And we've worked hard over all those years to make sure that this agenda is interesting, it's timely, we're providing you value, and we hope that you think that we've, we've accomplished that. The one thing that we haven't done at this conference is talk about us. And I want to break that rule just a little bit here because the year-long effort that we have gone through at the Detroit Regional Chamber to figure out what we want to do when we grow up has led us to a really interesting place. So our journey took us literally across the country. We took our senior team and went to the best-in-class chambers of commerce and economic development organizations in all parts of the country. We either visited them or had them visit us or we researched the heck out of them. But we got on planes, we had people get on planes, and we learned what other organizations are doing. And we learned two things. First of all, if you've seen one chamber of commerce, you've seen one chamber of commerce. And that was a really important lesson. The second thing, and frankly the more important lesson that we learned, is that it wasn't about being the best chamber of commerce. It wasn't about being the largest chamber of commerce. It was about being what is, as a nonprofit organization, as a 501c3, what role should our organization play given the unique situation that the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan are in? And given the fact that we're the fifth largest chamber of commerce in the country, we had some bandwidth, some flexibility to do that. So what we created after learning from all these other organizations was a completely new way of looking at our own organization. And we call it Forward Detroit. Forward Detroit is based on six pillars. And what we said to ourselves after learning from others and kind of examining our role in our community is that if we were just a traditional chamber of commerce focused on traditional chamber of commerce issues, we will not meet the challenge that our region has in terms of the opportunities that it has and frankly, the unique challenges that it has. And we said, listen, if we are not relevant to people as an organization, we will not have succeeded as a nonprofit organization based in the city of Detroit. If we're not focused on our broader community, we will not be successful as an organization. If we're not focused on the talent needs that all parts of our society need, and that our citizens need to compete and win in the 21st century, we will not have succeeded. If we don't focus on the global connectivity, and our thought was, gosh, you know, our companies in our region are so globally connected. They're so globally savvy. But sadly, a lot of our population is not as globally savvy as we'd like them to be all the time. And we need to change that dynamic if Michigan is going to compete and win in a global 21st century marketplace. Next generation mobility. And that's, you know, we heard a lot about this yesterday. If we don't own in Michigan and Detroit the next generation of mobility and the transformation of the auto industry that is occurring right before our very eyes, we're going to have real problems. And we need to rally around this challenge, which we are as a state, to own next generation mobility. And of course, basic business issues. And so what we did was we took our organization and we basically realigned ourselves 
to meet these issues. And we, then we thought, gosh, you know, what if we did something more than that? What instead of just us looking at what can we do as just one organization based in the state of Michigan, what if we created a regional scorecard? What if we were able to create a regional scorecard that would allow any organization that's working for the public good in the Detroit region, or the state of Michigan for that matter, to rally around a common set of metrics? Could we create a regional dashboard that would, that would monitor how well we're doing and get all organizations to focus on at least one piece of it? And here's what we came up with. So we said, what's important to people? What should we be working on with people? Well, it's not just one thing, it's two things. And we need to do two things simultaneously. What's the most important thing in our region? It's good jobs and good wages. And if we don't do both things, we will not succeed. And what we did was we said, you know, our unemployment rate needs to be below, our goal should be below what is considered to be full employment, which is 5%. And we all know that unemployment numbers these days are vastly overrated. They're actually much higher than they purport to be. But we also need to simultaneously increase our per capita income. Because if we don't increase our per capita income and decrease our unemployment rate at the same time, we will not hit our metric. We will not hit our mark. Because it's easy just to do one. We can create a lot of jobs at low wages or get the 1% to make more money. But that's not what we want in our region. And in our per capita income, compared to leading regions, we almost have a $10,000 delta. And if we really want this region to be world class, we really need to work on our per capita income. Community. One of, the, one, of the, one of the most important things that we think we need to work on is public transit. If you want people to make money, give them the opportunity to make money and spend money. And that means, that means connectivity means getting people from point A to point B. And so we think increasing public ridership of public transit is gonna be hugely important. And population growth, we agree completely with Mike Duggan's goal to increase the population in the city of Detroit. That's gonna be hugely important. But let's not increase the population in the city of Detroit at the expense of surrounding communities. It's not good enough to move a company or a family from one part of our region to another, because that doesn't change our per capita income, it doesn't change our educational attainment, all it does is change a commuting pattern. So we need to make sure that all parts of our region are succeeding. Talent, this is probably the biggest challenge in our region. As we heard yesterday from the mayor, the situation in DPS and other schools across the state, it's not good. I have said publicly before, and I'll stand by it, that the rest of the world is getting smarter, but based on the data, Michigan's going in the other direction. It's a dangerous place for us to be. Our goal is to increase third grade reading scores. Now, 58% proficiency doesn't sound like a lot, but it's almost 10% higher than where we are now. And as we learned, up to the third grade, you're reading, you're learning to read. After the third grade, you're reading to learn. And if we don't fix that dynamic and quickly, we're gonna have problems. And then adults, we can't forget about the adults. It's not just about the kids. Our adults need more skills to be competitive in a global 21st century global marketplace. And we define Adults with a post-secondary degree, not just as a four-year degree, as important as that is, but as a two-year associate's degree or a highly skilled certificate. And in leading class regions across the country and across the planet, this number that we're having, setting a goal at 41%, right now we're at about 36%. In leading class regions, it's close to 60%. So when you think about the delta between where our people are in terms of highly, high, high skills versus some of the leading regions of the world, we have work to do. 
global connectivity. Again, if we want our people, our citizens, to be more savvy in the global world, we need to make sure that we are a welcoming environment for global investment in the state of Michigan and the Detroit region. So we set a goal of $12 billion for economic development entities, organizations like us or the DEGC or Oakland County, to really drive foreign direct investment, dollars and entities. And the more global companies that employ more Michiganders, the more global our society will become and the better off we will be. Next generation mobility. We talked a lot about this yesterday. And I'm so glad that the governor used uh, the Mackinac Policy Conference to launch the new Planet M marketing and branding campaign for the state of Michigan to establish Michigan as the definitive place on the planet for next generation mobility. The good news is, is that we're already number one in these assets. There is more technology assets being deployed around next generation mobility in Michigan than any other place on the planet. There are more engineers than any other place on the planet in Michigan. And there are more tests underway than any other place right here in Michigan. Our challenge is keeping number one. Because again, if we don't own this space going forward, we're going to have challenges. Next, and of course, is business issues. And we thought, you know, what, what, what do businesses need? And this is where the traditional chamber of commerce really comes in. So we thought, we need to grow our regional jobs. Not surprising. It's not a groundbreaking metric. But what we said is that if we're really going to be a class-leading region, we need to grow faster than the national average. Because if we, all we do in Michigan or in the Detroit region is keep up with national gains, we will continue to always lag the national averages. So we need outsized growth in our jobs for an extended period of time. And that's going to be a heavy lift. And again, we're talking about regional jobs. We want to make sure that all parts of the region and the state are succeeding, not just one part of the state. And then we want to raise your rent. I'm trying to increase your costs. But the reason that's important is that we need more market rate rents all across the region and across the state. Because if we get more market rate rents, the more development that will come and the more attractive we're going to be to investors. And that will lead to new building. And new building will lead to economic growth and, and job employment. That's important. So, this is our agenda. Uh, we think it's unique. Uh, we're very excited about it. Our organization has kind of you know, re, uh, reshuffled our, our, our chairs to kind of uh, rally around these. And our goal is to uh, kind of push this out, particularly into the region, and see if other organizations will adopt parts of these metrics uh, as, as, as time goes on. And I want to thank our, our incredible uh, supporters of this. We've had lots of organizations. I particularly want to thank the MEDC, Blue Cross Blue Shield, DTE Energy, and the GM Foundation uh, for their leadership gifts uh, for this. Uh, I also want to thank uh, our, brand, our brand newest uh, investors that have, have, have just come in to support us, uh, St. Joseph uh, Mercy Health System, uh, Lear Corporation, uh, and a personal gift, uh, a very sizable personal gift uh, from our friend Jim Nicholson uh, from PVS Chemical. So we think this is going to cost us about $20 million to do this. So it's not chump change, uh, but we're really excited about this. We're really excited about what this region and what this state has in store. And if we can create this regional scorecard, and if all organizations can be pulling in the same direction, no matter what your mission is or no matter what, you know, how you're funded, we think we can make a real difference here. So thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the morning.